Yo, what's good guys, Dinosaurs, Fagan Solo, here, bring you another video, and I know I haven't been posting in a while, but, I mean, I had, like, a lot of schoolwork, I got assigned, whoa, okay, yeah, I got assigned, like, a lot of homework, and I have to do, like, a lot of tests, so, let's make this quick, no Ubers, I mean, I think I should start doing not fully evolved Pokemon. But yeah, after this one, I'll think about it. But let's generate Garchomp. This is good. Okay, so I'll be right back, as uh, French would say. <laughs> okay, so when we look at Garchomp, I mean, its ability Rough Skin and Sand Veal, like, that's the best um, Sandstorm, like, boosted ability you can have, like Sand Veal, because it's really hacksy. And rough skin, that's really good for defensive mons. And um, rough skin can make Garchomp very versatile, as well as its stats. It just supports its um, ability. Like Garchomp is so like so powerful. Like its HP 100 ba 108 base. That's m like a lot more than um, defensive Pokemon. Like how much does Tyranitar have? 100. It has more than Tyranitar. It's attack 130. That's a lot of attack. That's more than enough attack to knock out Mons. And let me tell you, let me tell you, Garchomp is babe. Oh my god, stop it. And I don't, I don't know, I just thought to throw that in. But yeah, it's defense. It works well with its HP. So is its special defense. Special attack is, I guess, pretty decent for someone who's a physical attacker. And then speed 102. That's very good. Okay. I think it outspeeds Mega Charizard Y, so let's check. Yep, 100 base speed. Okay, and when we look at the first guard chump, this is your normal guard chump. This is what everyone runs the plain old bland guard chump. So you have Rocky Helmet, Rough Skin, Earthquake, Dragon Claw, Iron Head, and Protect. And you're gonna, and this is what everyone has Jolly or Adamant with all out attack and all out speed, but eh, that's boring. So we'll just go with special attack guard chomp. D bet you didn't see that one coming. <laughs> so you want to go rough skin or sandville? Doesn't matter if you're going doubles, then go sandville. If you're going singles, just go rough skin. So you're gonna want to go surf to, you know, get um for that coverage. So is fire blast for that ice? Those ice types, Draco Meteor, because you know it's Draco Meteor. Like, one of the, you can go Draco Meteor or Dragon Pulse, so you don't, um, so you don't, um, lower your special attack, but I'd go Dragon Pulse, cause, or actually, Draco Meteor, cause, you know, I'm a YOLO type of guy, and Earth Power, you know, for stab, and you're gonna wanna go all out special attack and speed, because, you know, you, you know you want more special attack, so you know that's gonna be in there, and for speed, I mean, you're not going to be a really bulky mon. You're just going to be just a normal brick cannon. So you just want to invest yourself in speed. So you know you get the best of both worlds. <laughs> okay, so for this one is your Stolly Garchomp. So you're going to want to go Leftovers and Rough Skin. Because Rough Skin inflicts damage on physical attackers. And you're going to want to go Protect, Substitute, Toxic, and Rock Slide. Rock Slide instead of Earthquake, because if it's a, um, if it's a Flying type, because Flying types are usually physical attackers, and you want to go against physical attackers, so it's, like, physically defensive. So you're going to want to go all out defense and all out HP. Since you have Rock Slide, you can hit Flying types and almost any other type, except for, like, Steel, I believe? Yeah, I think it's steel. And fighting, and fighting. Um, yeah, and it's not going to really be effective with those types, but, um, yeah, so that should be good. And if it's a physical attacker, you get, wait, does Garchomp get Will-O-Wisp? No, it doesn't. Well, you can just go Toxic, or instead of Rock Slide, you can just go Crunch for the coverage. Also, because there is no immunity to it, also. So you can go Rock Slide or Crunch. Now for this one, this is for your double battles. It's going to be your most hacked Garchomp ever. 
So you're gonna wanna go Lumberry, aight, aight. Then Sandville raises evasiveness 1.25. Double team. Where's double team? Okay, let me just bring it. Double team is like the most hex move ever. Raises evasiveness by one. So that's 2.5 right there. Yeah, that's 2.5. Then you have Crunch for Coverage, Earthquake, Dragon Tail. And then just go all out attack and speed with that Jolly Nature. And have a Tyranitar with leftovers and the Stealth Rock. And then just keep switching with Dragon Tail because it'll always miss. I just blew all your minds. Yes. Garchomp is one of my favorite Pokemon. Garchomp is just, has done a lot for me in competitive battles, and I think you guys should find your own way of using Garchomp, and you can use mine if you want. I mean, it's not copyrighted or anything. You can still use it. But anyways, other than that, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, because you know it's greatly appreciated. And while you're down there, you can hit that sub button if you want. And the username Swag and Swallow, they call me that. A spit fire. That's my my jobs at that. They call me the Pokey Master. What I call them is you're grateful. Another one. No, I'm kidding. I don't I don't know where I'm going with this, but have a great day and just remember, above all guys, just stay swagging.